Hello, this is Travelito. Welcome to my channel and I hope you are doing well. As we all know, moving around or traveling is limited and restricted due to COVID-19 pandemic. So I prepared something special for you which is not related to travel or anything related to tourism activity. I think it is just timely to take you to something relevant at this time, which I call it of home or office at the comfort of our home. In this special edition of Travelito, I will be showing to you my journey to get my working station as it is right now, here. So for those who are new here and did not subscribe yet, please hit that subscribe button over there, here, yeah. Also, please ring the bell so that you will get notification whenever I upload new videos. Thank you very much and I hope you will enjoy. First, let's take some inspiration from our office. So, this is my workstation like any other regular office setup. Recently, this year, one more monitor was added and that makes it three monitors already. With regards to phone, we do have phone and a wireless headset which has noise cancelling feature. This will reduce significantly the noise around us that helps us focus on our call. Also another feature of our table that I like is we can work by sitting or standing by just pressing a button. Aside from that, we do have busy light. This busy light changes its color to red if we are busy and green if we are available. There are few more colors when we are on a call or if we do not want to be disturbed. This is our way of giving heads up to our colleague if they can approach us at that moment or they need to wait until we become available. So those are the basic and useful features and facilities of our workstation. The question now is the possibility of getting those features and facilities at home. So way back early 2019, before COVID-19 came out, we have been encouraged to work from home and I've been doing it several times. In fact, working from home was our project last year. When I started working from home before COVID-19 last year, our dining table was my working station as well. Then I moved earlier this year, 2020, in this corner which is next to our dining table. My monitor that time was from a friend, Haley. She was not using it, so she entrusted it to me. However, when she went back to Philippines for good early this year, she needs to take back the monitor as well. By then, I don't have computer monitor anymore. So when the mandatory working from home was implemented due to COVID-19 pandemic, I moved in the center of our living room, right in front of our television. Our television was my monitor, but it was not so convenient to move around and the space of the table is very limited. So I started planning to have proper workstation. Part of the plan is the practicality of it, which I think you need to consider as well because this is an investment for our career and it involves budget. Obviously, in my case, I bought all of this slowly until I completed the entire workstation. In my case, I considered working from home as part already of our working culture and I believe it will continue. Also, I considered my blogging activity where I can do editing conveniently. So the first thing I did is to search online for monitors. The affordable one, of course, but with the quality and the features I need. I found this one that I like because it is slim and the edge of the monitor is very narrow. It almost doesn't have a frame. When I got the first monitor, I moved back over here in this corner and this is how it looks like. At first, I feel that the monitor is too small but when I get used to it and looking at all its features and the space that I have, I realized that this is the perfect monitor that I need. So when I was comfortable already with the new monitor, I went back online to purchase the second monitor. However, it was not available that time. I thought it was face out already. 
or the supplier was having challenges on getting stocks because of the restriction imposed in transportation and delivery due to COVID-19. That is why I was tempted to take the 23 or 27 inches monitor because of my eagerness to get the second monitor. However, it is not practical to get another two units because I already have one unit of 21.5 inches and it doesn't look good and it may cause another inconvenience only if I am going to have 21.5 inches on the other side of the table and a bigger monitor on the other side. Otherwise, I need to zoom in and zoom out my eyesight because of the size of the text and the view are different from each screen like what happened with me with the earlier setup with the laptop and the television. So I just keep on checking online and waited for about a week. Lucky enough that the availability of 21.5 inches came so I purchased it immediately because I am afraid that the supplier may run out of stocks again. And let me show you quickly a little bit of unboxing with a monitor. The monitor comes with one HDMI and VGA cable and power cable along with the adapter. Of course, it comes with the stand. I like all the features of this monitor because it is slim, very light, and almost no frame, which I can use almost the entire screen of the monitor. Now let us compare our working station in the office and my working station at home along with the facilities and the features that I mentioned a while ago. So let's start with the monitor. In the office we have three monitors with the same sizes while at home I have only two monitors with the same sizes and a laptop that becomes my third monitor at the center of my table. Next is the BC light. We have it in the office but not currently at home but let's see later if it is possible to put something like this but not really necessary. Next is wireless headset with noise cancelling feature. At home I got AirPod Pro which is wireless also and with noise cancelling feature. On the top of it, it fits on my ears and it doesn't fall easily. It is very comfortable and with a very good sound quality. Unlike the different kinds of wired and wireless headset and earphones that I used before that keeps on falling and causing headache to me. If I combine all that I spent with those headset and earphones, it is more expensive than having one AirPod Pro in terms of value for money and quality. Lastly, the table. In the office, we have electronic table that can go up and down by just pressing the button. At home, I got SCARTA table from IKEA which is 120 by 70 with a minimum height of 70 cm and a maximum height of 120 cm. But this is manual type of table. By cranking the handle manually, I can get the height of the table accordingly. So I can still have the option of working by sitting or by standing. The table is worth having and absolutely suitable in my space and its functions. Also, you can install the crank handle in the right side or in the left side. In my case, I placed it at the right side because I'm right-handed and also that is the side that has better space.
So that is my journey with my working station from dining table to a proper working station that is allowing me to work conveniently and efficiently. I hope that you find value and tips of this special edition of, of home or office at the comfort of our home. Thank you for watching and I wish you are working conveniently also from home. Stay safe. I appreciate any of your comments and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be the first one to know when I upload new video. Once again, this is Travelito. Thank you for sticking around.